Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be using my pencil, ring light, and this ball to show you how shadows work. Um, so I'm just gonna turn off the light so there's just one source of light, which is the ring light. So we have introduced just the ring light as the source of light. And when I move it above the object, you can see the shadow is cast forward. The mid tones are in the middle and the dark tones just take about half of the ball. And as I move this around, obviously you can see how the shadows move around with the highlights moving around, the mid tones, the dark tones, and the shadows. Thus, you can see where the highlight is at the top, the mid tones in the middle, and the dark tones right at the end. That is our reflected lights from where the light bounces off the surface back to the object. And of course, we have our shadows, highlights, and mid tones. And when objects are introduced to light surfaces, there's a deflected or reflected light that bounces off that surface and comes back to the object. As you can see by that light spot between the shadow and where the ball touches the table. So here I'm just showing you a black and white image so it's easier to see the shadows. So there are six different types of shading technique. I will start with the main one, hatching. So hatching is when you use parallel straight lines to create um, shadows on an object. And the more tightly you pack these lines, the more, the darker the area would be. Um, I really like hatching because it's an easy technique to use and it can make your artwork look very, um, clean. So we're just going to add the shadows and there we go. Hatching is done. The next one would be cross hatching. Cross hatching is the use of two different types of parallel lines, one going in one direction and the other one going in a different direction. Same with hatching, the more tightly you pack these lines, the darker the area would be. And here I'm just introducing my light source from the top of the ball. So as you can see, the lightest area is on the top, the mid tone is right under the dark tones there, the deflected lights and the shadows. The third technique is blending which is you can use any of the other art techniques and just involves you using a blending tool like a brush, a stump, or your hands or a piece of tissue to blend out the shaded areas. The next shading technique is known as scribbling. Scribbling involves using random lines to create light and dark areas. As you can see here, scribbling just involves using random lines. The more tightly you pack these lines together, the darker the area would be, and the less light, um, tightly you pack these lines together, the, mm -hmm, the lighter the area would be. The fifth technique is called stippling and it's the use of random dots to create um, shades and shadows in, in a drawing. Um, this is a very tedious process as you can imagine, it involves using a lot of dots and it takes a lot of time so I'm just going to speed through this. So there we go, um, stippling is done. And the final technique I wanted to show you guys is called circling. Circling involves using the circular motion on your pencil to create um, shades and shadows in your drawing. As you can see, the more tightly you pack the circles, the darker the area would be. Um, and the less tightly it's packed, the lighter the area would be, of course.
So that's what it looks like. Hatching, first one, cross hatching, blending, scribbling, stippling, and circling. 